Let's evaluate these seven limits based on this graph of an awkward function f of x. First, we're asked to find the limit of f of x as x approaches zero from the right. So, zooming in on the graph of our function, understand that x equals zero is right here at the origin. So, to identify the limit, you can use a pencil or your finger to trace along the function in the direction of where x equals zero, and make sure you're doing it from the right. So we trace along the function towards x equals zero and ask what the vertical value that we're approaching is. It's clear to see that the vertical value, as in the y-coordinate, that we're approaching is one. So as we approach x equals zero from the right, the y value, which is the value of the function, is approaching one. You may notice that there's an open circle there, so in fact the function doesn't take on a value of one when x equals zero, it actually takes on a value of two when x equals zero, but that does not change the limit. The limit is indeed equal to positive one because that's the value the function is approaching as x approaches zero from the right. Secondly, we're asked to evaluate the limit of the function as x approaches 1. So again, looking at the graph, we want to find where the horizontal position is 1 and approach this position on our function. In this case, since a side is not indicated, as in from the left or from the right, we need to consider both sides. Tracing on the function towards x equals 1 from the left we see that we're approaching a vertical value of 1. The y-coordinate here is 1. If we approach x equals 1 from the right, we're also approaching a vertical value of 1. And so the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. In this case, the function actually does take on that value, as we can see with that filled in circle. Next, we're asked to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left. So looking at our graph, x equals 2 is right there. We want to trace along the function towards this position, where x equals 2, and we want to do it from the left. So this is what that looks like, tracing along the function towards x equals 2 from the left. And we ask what y value is being approached. Clearly, the y value, or vertical position, being approached is y equals 0. That's what the x-axis is. It's y equals 0. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left is 0. Next, we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So we're coming back to the same position, and again, we want to trace along the function towards x equals 2, but this time, rather than doing it from the left, we want to do it from the right. And that looks like this. So we approach that horizontal position of 2, which again, this is the horizontal position of 2. We're approaching that while staying on the function, and we're approaching from the right what vertical position is being approached as we do this. Well, we see it's y equals 1. That's the vertical position that's being approached as we approach x equals 2 from the right. Again, the function doesn't actually take on the value of 1 at x equals 2. It happens to take on a value of 2 when x is equal to 2. But that doesn't change the value of what's being approached. What's being approached is y equals 1. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the right is 1. Thus, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 as a two-sided limit does not exist, because we saw that the limit from the left was 0, whereas the limit from the right was positive 1. Since those one-sided limits are not equal, the two-sided limit does not exist, so we'll write DNE. And of course, this bizarre behavior of the function is very apparent in the graph at x equals two. There's a whole lot of junk going on there. Then we're asked to find the limit of the function as x approaches three. So coming back up to our graph, this is the horizontal position of three. So we need to think about what's happening to the y values as we approach three, both from the left and from the right. As we approach this horizontal position of x equals three, from the left, the y value being approached is 2. As we approach the horizontal position of x equals 3 from the right, the y value being approached, again, is 2. No matter which direction we approach from, it appears that the vertical position being approached is 2. And so the limit as x approaches 3 is 2. 
it can be helpful to think of these horizontal positions that X is approaching as vertical lines, and we just have to make sure that we stay on the function while approaching that vertical line. Finally, we're asked to evaluate the limit of the function as x approaches 4 from the left. Coming up to our graph, we see that it would not be possible to evaluate the limit from the right since the function is not defined to the right of x equals 4. But we can approach x equals 4 from the left. So, tracing along the function towards that horizontal position of 4 from the left, we ask what y value is being approached. And we see that it is again in this case y equals 1. That's the value being approached. And from the filled in circle, we see that the function actually does take on that value. Although again, that's not relevant to the limit. Regardless, the limit of the function as x approaches 4 from the left is 1. So that's a handful of examples of evaluating limits from a graph. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.